Hey guys, today I'm going to show you on how to make a basic menu in your g just for your game. Okay, so I'm just going to teach you guys um, on how to just make the basics of it. Okay, so now this is the basics. All I need you to do is just open up a a like scene. Um, just have your main camera, and then I'll just make um a C sharp script. Okay, in your C sharp script, you're going to call it menu. Okay, as you can see, mine is empty, so we're going to be on the exact same page. So now let's open up it up. Okay, so good to read. Okay, so now first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to have a um public oh, string. Okay, reason why we say string is because we need strings for the menu. Okay, so we're gonna call the string current menu. Okay, now we're just gonna add a semicolon at the end and we should be fine. Okay, another thing that we're gonna have to have another one, or well another thing that we're gonna have to have is a public um, void. Ah, oh, come on. Void. And it's going to be called navigate to. Okay, so now let's do this again. But now we're going to have to say what it's going to navigate to. So we're going to once again have our string, and it's going to be called next menu. Okay, so now in next menu, we're going to have to set what we want the next menu to be. So we're gonna have to say current menu is gonna have to equal to be next menu. Add a semicolon at the end and we should be fine. Okay. So now let's close navigate to. Okay. And let's make a new public. No, wait. Okay, let's have um, a void called start. It's important that you have the capital S at, at the beginning. Add these okay and now all that you really need to do is just nothing in here for now um just to show you what we're gonna do okay so we are going to have to have um a private void called um well just for the enter menu we're gonna call it just for now e n t e r menu okay so now we're going to do the exact same thing once again ah oh, how do we not do that okay so now in the enter menu we're going to have to create a button if you do not know what a button is a button is something that we press um in order for us to do something for instance now um gui gui dot button and then now we're gonna have to say it's gonna be a new no not network view a new rect okay and now we're gonna have to set its scale um let's go with 10 by 10 by a hundred by a hundred yeah let's just do that for now and now what is it going to be called it's going to be called um let's just call it start start close that okay put a semicolon at the end um but now that will just be our button but we want it to go somewhere that's why we have this navigate too so let's get rid of the semicolon add another one of these and now let's make an if statement so if this gui button pressed we're gonna have to add these col ach no just these things again just the brackets these special brackets okay and then now um when start pressed okay we're gonna have to create another private void so it's gonna be private void and now let's just call it um 
the enter menu let's just call it um, uh, let's just make call it options o p options with a capital O add these brackets and add these ones okay in options let's just make something basic out of it um, let's just add another one of these the exact same one control C control V I just changed the start to be called back okay so now we're gonna have to have our navigate to N A V I navigate to and where we're we gonna navigate it is going to be where we want to navigate it and now this is where our start comes in use okay so we're gonna have to say um, current menu no we have to have our if statement if current menu equal equal um let's just do this menu with the capital M menu add a semicolon no not semicolon just add this then now we're gonna have to say it's going to have to be current menu equals menu let's just call it enter menu control C control V add these at the end and semicolon Okay, so now we should be fine, and now let's just copy this again, Control c enter Control v okay. So now, um, let's call this one. Why does this happen? Oh, come on, work with me. O, P, T, O options okay and let's close this let's change this to be options control C control V okay so now we're gonna have to say navigate to the options why does it do this Okay, um, options, close brackets, and a semicolon at the end, and now we're on this back key, let's just copy this, control C, control V, now let's just get rid of all the this, just for safety's sake, and now let's just call this menu, okay, close, semicolon, uh, why, why do I always forget this? Okay, close bracket, semicolon. Okay, so now it should navigate between the two. So now let's save this. Let's go back. Let's click here. Everything should be fine. Yes, everything is fine. Okay, now let's start the game. So now I'm just to say one thing. We have to assign the script to the main camera. So menu, assign to the main camera. Okay, uh, let me just remove the one. Okay. Ah, I see that there's a problem. Uh, oh yeah, okay. So let's have another public void. Another public void called... Um, ah, this one should be called on GUI. Why do I always do this? O-N-G-U-I. Okay, on GUI. And now this one should be called void start... Okay, on void start, we want it, the current menu, it's going to have, so current menu is going to equal, um, menu, the semicolon, oh, come on, semicolon, okay. Now that should fix it. Let's minimize. Sorry about that. Let's click. Everything's all right. And now uh, there's our button. Okay, start back. Okay, 
we can just fiddle around with these um, the these settings um, let's change these hundreds so now let's do this again 50 and now let's just see our results maybe that could change it okay so now as you can see there's our different size button um, just fiddle around with these like little things um, and then now you will be able to get the size that you desire so um, let's just make this as once again 50 comma 50 and now everything should be all right so now you know on how to do it um, just for some other stuff um, just to say just remember that um, you need the void start the current menu the navigate to and the on GUI these ones are insanely important so this one is just to or well all of these is just to um, navigate between the two okay all of these together um, the public void start is how you're gonna start the game how you're gonna enter the menu so we want to enter it on menu so now um, this navigate to what I'm just saying is the current menu that we are currently on and now when we click on the button it's supposed to navigate us to which is our next menu which can be any name okay so now the on GUI um, is just a healthy a, a very nice thing to have um, so now we can just name it nick the nicknames and then now it will take us there for instance now enter menu I just say to go to the options and it'll take me to here okay so that's a very nice fact um, so just for the GUI button we we have to have the if statement GUI button which is going to be an uh, open bracket new rect another open bracket our sizes and our coordinates okay then our comma after the close bracket and then our whatever name we want it to be okay this name that whatever we wanted to be actually is the name that is going to go inside the box so now um so now if you name it start here but now you name it something different here um and then now it will and now you're expecting it to go to our desired location but no it will just um give us the name so um so now just to add in more we can just um like copy this whole entire thing in control c enter enter control v and now we can just make another one out of this like we can call it the um we can s just call it menu and then now this can someone just be called um maybe just something funny like fart no <laughs> okay so um that's just on how to make a basic menu and how and how menus work um if you if you wanted to know on how they work now you do and how to make one so just to recap if you want to like make more menus just copy the private void enter menu and it will just do everything okay hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is Ethan Luck signing off